Hello, Star Family. May the messages within these readings reach you when you need to hear them. May the universe give you synchronicity as confirmation. Brightest blessings to all watching. I love you, what I love you, Aisha. Asur na illa me arni ale abiyayem. Ashir na illa ma arni ale warni. Ale warne me asir na ale awai ale yesham. Aries, <laughs> that is your pre-shuffle. Before I get to your tarot, though. I do want to grab one of these fortune cards, okay, because I want to kind of see what the main energy or theme is of your monthly message, okay? So it's going to be as, uh, it's going to be like a focal card, all right? What is the main energy for you, Aries, Sun, Rising, Moon, Venus, for this monthly message from now or whenever you choose to watch this reading? What will be the monthly message for you? All right. Lovers. Oh, nice. There are two paths ahead. Be true to yourself. Okay, so you might have a choice to make, Aries. You might have a lover, okay, um, coming into your atmosphere. Okay, a love interest or love in general, a soulmate. So let's see... Let's see what this is all about. Let's get three cards for this. Three cards for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this monthly message. For their highest good and only their highest good and unconditional love. So it is. Three cards, please. Okay, the Hierophant. Wow. Okay, so um, a spiritual connection. Okay, a highly spiritual one. Maybe a commitment, a promise, a vow, a marriage, possibly an engagement. I could see that way. Uh, see it that way. I could also see it as a spiritual lesson to be learned from this situation or person. Okay, or choice. The King of Cups, so it could be uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and unfortunately my candle just went out. Um, that happens sometimes when I don't check to see if the wax is enough. <laughs> All right, so I apologize for that. King of Cups, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio could be somewhere in your chart or could be the person that you're dealing with or the energy maybe that you're taking on. Okay, so let's grab... Let's grab a card here, another card to kind of complete this on the table. One card, please. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For their monthly message. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> this is gorgeous. Okay. Um, I think I don't need even need to say anything else about it. Uh, this is beautiful. Okay. So you have the lover's card. All right, and I know it's not tarot, but right away I get Gemini vibes, okay? So I'm looking at this like you, okay, I've, I heard safe, okay? Like you feel safe. You might feel really secure emotionally, all right? Emotionally fulfilled and happy. Um, there's something, if it's not a person, a relationship, a commitment or a promise you're making or a contract you're signing, um, I feel like... Yeah, if it's nothing romantic, let's say, okay? This is a choice. You're going to be presented with a choice. It says there are two paths ahead. Be true to yourself. Absolutely, that's the greatest advice anybody could ever give. Be true to yourself, okay? What feels right to you is the choice that you should make, all right? If making the opposite choice of what feels right to you causes you some kind of pain, heartache, then obviously right there, the pain and the heartache is enough to tell you this is probably not the right thing to do, okay? Um, I'm getting the vibe that there's a choice that you have to make and you're going to make that choice based on what calls to the heart, all right? What you feel in your heart is the right thing to do, all right? 
the Cubs energy, whenever I see the court cards um, that are related to the Cubs, I'm like intuition. Intuition and feeling and that inner knowing, that inner gut instinct speaks to you through your, your feelings, okay? It's like you get a vibe, you get a, a knowing. You can't explain or pinpoint the knowing, why you know what you know or why you feel what you feel. But there's usually a reason for it and spirit is talking to you through that gut feeling, okay? That is what I'm getting from this. So the choice, it's going to come down to what in your gut intuitively, instinctually, metaphysically feels correct to you. Okay. This is about long-term commitments, possibly. Okay. Could be about establishments, big business, if it's a career situation, a job, location, big building. Okay. That some of you could be deciding you could be deciding a career move, okay? I know I don't see pentacles, but whenever I get the Hierophant, I think of establishments, okay? So I have to consider also higher education. So some of you could be choosing a career path or an education path that's going to require that you follow your heart and what feels intuitively good to you, all right? If you're going back to school, trying to learn something, uh, choosing a new job that maybe would require some education or mentorship of some sort. Um, it's more like you have to choose what feels right to you in this. If this is something you want to pursue, right? If this is a new course of action that you want to take, make sure that it is aligned to you. All right. That is the crux of this reading. Um, but just if I have, if I look at it just on the love spectrum, okay. Commitment, marriage, solidifying that commitment, or making a choice about a commitment. Also, again, making the choice according to what's on the heart and what feels right to you because this is about your ultimate happiness and fulfillment no matter what it's about, whether it's romantic, personal goal related, or career. This is something that you want for the long term because it's going to affect, or you want, yeah, you want to secure it for the long term with this Hierophant because it is about your happiness. All right. I'm feeling if some of you are in a marriage, things are probably improving or going in a direction um, that maybe you've been hoping for in a, in a, I'm hearing a long time. Like this is something you wanted for a while. Maybe, maybe there is a relationship here that is up leveling itself in some way. I heard um, going to a higher level of commitment. All right, this is soulmate energy. This is something aligned or someone aligned with you, for you, for your happiness. I feel like the universe is presenting you with the possibility of engagement or commitment or marriage and just solidifying that relationship in a really beautiful way with that Ten of Cups and that Hierophant. This is about making promises, uh, renewing vows, I heard. Um, just following your heart. Okay, the King of Cups knows what he wants emotionally. He's not afraid to go after it. He's not afraid to confess love. He's not afraid to act upon his feelings. That could be you. That could be the person that you're with. But somebody's trying to offer their big cup of love, I think, here. It's like this King of Cups is trying to offer his Ace of Cups. That's what I'm getting. Okay, and I think some of you are more than willing to take him up on that offer because you know it's going to bring you a lot of happiness. Okay, this is about family, marriage life, home life. Commitments, vows, promises being made. A spiritual lesson here from this situation, commitment, or choice that you're making. Okay, there's something to be learned here with that Hierophant. There's a lot of things I see here. Okay, so let me grab, um, let me get... A card on the Hierophant. Why is the Hierophant here? You get a little bit more understanding about what's going on here. Aries. It looks good. It really does. Um, Alright, you have a lot of cards fall out. So, Queen of Swords. Air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You have the Pentacles. Uh, Knight. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. The Six of Swords. So, yeah, you know, I can look at this easily and say, hey, there's there's been, a, I heard a healing, a 
Okay, I heard it from the Six of Swords. Okay, like a healing, a re like I said, a renewing of vows or a recommitment or um, I heard bearing the hatchet. Okay, it's like the Queen of Swords is bearing the hatchet. She's putting her sword down. All right, um, you, if you're in a relationship with this Ten of Cups, you are moving on. Okay, you're moving on to calmer waters, okay? You're leaving the stress, the anxiety, the worry behind. You're putting the past behind you. You're moving forward in this connection. Okay, I feel like there's been healing. There's been forgiveness or something like that. Here is the Knight of Pentacles taking this connection, this commitment, this stability with your person, making progress with them, okay, with this energy here. One step at a time. But moving into, you know, a peaceful situation, bliss, I heard bliss, okay, bliss. And I could definitely see that with the, with the Ten of Cups. So whatever it is that you're pursuing, okay, especially if it's job related, let's say, or the path that you're looking to choose, uh, maybe to further your education or career, um, it's one that you're going to be making progress with. It's going to put you in a peaceful state of being. It's just going to put your mind at ease. Okay, likewise, if this is the renewal of a situation with a special someone, all right, I feel like um, making new promises together, finding peace of mind with one another, making progress in the relationship, in the commitment, leveling up in that situation. All right, let's see why the King of Cups is here. Okay, Nine of Cups, yes, wish fulfillment. Okay, this is your happiness. Um, this is definitely happiness. You have the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Cups. You see the progression here? You're going from being happy or single, some of you, on your own to then, you know, solidifying yourself, finding a commitment or finding a special someone and maybe creating a lifelong, you know, uh, relationship with, okay? So um, what is the vibe I just, or the the... I, I don't really like labels too much, but um, it's, what, what would be the, it's not a soulmate, life partner, yes, okay, life partner, <laughs> so this is giving me life partner vibes, thank you, by the way, I heard that, um, life partner vibes, okay, so that is what I feel is being presented to you, okay, this king of cups is holding the giant ace of cups, and the Nine of Cups. It's like, okay, look, this is crazy. This is crazy. I love when this happens, okay? One Ace of Cups plus Nine Cups equals what? Ten of Cups. Do you see what I'm saying here? <laughs> um, you, you technically, with this card and this card, have Ten Cups, okay? You have the Ten of Cups twice, all right? Nine plus one is ten. So I'm looking at this like... Some somebody is offering you this happiness. They're offering you their love, their heart. They're putting it on their sleeve. They want to take you from being happy all by yourself to, you know, being happy as a unit, as a team, okay? So you have this beautiful Ten of Cups, and that's what they want with you, okay? If you don't have that already, then this is somebody where they're trying to offer it to you after you've been single and doing your own thing for a while. Bear with me one second. I'm going to put my charger in. I'm going to move the camera. There you go. In order to do it. Um, but I feel like here you are maybe doing your own thing. Maybe you've been happy on your own for a while. But there's definitely a spiritual connection. Somebody is with the Knight of Pentacles walking into your life, okay, or presenting something to you, okay, they're taking action upon the situation to present something tangible with you, something based in reality, okay? Something solid and grounded. They want to take you from the Nine of Cups and bump you up to the Ten of Cups. Like, they want to offer that Ten of Cups to you. That's why you see the happy couple here, okay? And then you have the Lover's card. So this is Life Partner material. And they're presenting that big giant Ace of Cups to you, I feel. Okay, if it's not love, um, then like I said, there's an opportunity here to level up in a career situation that's going to stabilize you with that Knight of Cups. You're going to be making progress. Okay, um, it's going to allow you to learn something with the Hierophant and the Queen of Swords. Okay, education maybe. Um, secure yourself in some way. 
fulfill the desires of the heart, uh, get your wish fulfillment, and solidify you for, you know, a solid, happy road ahead. All right. So I'm just looking at you evolving in some way, choosing a path or a person or a situation or a relationship that's going to evolve you to your happiness. All right. You're going to get some kind of wish fulfillment. It's like you're going to have something to celebrate, too, because a lot of times the nine of cups is all in, you know, it's all about being surrounded by your cups. <laughs> your cups could technically run over with um, with a celebratory drink uh, or two or nine. OK, <laughs> with this card here. So I'm just looking at you just being really happy, really fulfilled, um, feeling really good about the direction that you're going in, in your situation whether they be career, personal goals, or love, all right? Someone, though, if you're single right now with that Nine of Cups, somebody is looking to solidify this spiritual connection with you. Could be Taurus, okay? I forgot to mention that. Sorry about that. Could be Taurus. They could be looking to solidify the connection with you, okay? Uh, present you with this love. Want to take it to the next level. Um, I know I don't see like a an ace of pentacles or something like that but i do get the vibe of like you know wedding rings engagement rings somebody wanting to wife you up or you know say be my husband you know that kind of thing um they want they want smooth sailing with you they want to move into like a happier situation or time with you this is like the six of swords saying you know um let's move away Let's go find our sanctuary. Let's go find our happy place together. Let's put the past behind us. Let's heal if you've had a past with them. Let's heal the let's heal ourselves by moving into the future and putting all that behind us and really just burying the hatchet. Let's clean the slate moving forward. Let's reconnect. Let's um solidify this connection together. Okay? So I do feel like there is healing here for those who are already in connection with each other. And then if you're single, somebody's coming in trying to offer this to you. Okay. They want to put your mind at ease. They want to take care of you. They want vows. They want commitments. They want promises with you. They want to create a future with you is what I'm getting. All right. So I can see a bunch of different scenarios here. I am going to grab a card on the Ten of Cups. Okay, even though I don't feel I need it, but I will grab a card on the Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups here? All right, the Nine of Wands. So, okay. Again, I got the vibe of healing. Okay, we know the Nine of Wands is that energy of like the wounded warrior. It's like I've been there, done that, battered, beaten, bruised. I've been through some things, but I'm still standing. Again, I, I have to go back to the vibe of it's, if this is an existing relationship, I see you and your person just, you know, overcoming. You have two nines here as well. Okay, so nine, nine, that could be a number for you. Six, ninety nine could be an angel number for some of you. I would look that up. Um, I feel like this is, you guys had some history together. Maybe there was some things in the past that had you worried, um, had you wondering if this existing connection could ever make it, okay, with this nine. Nine of wands is always about looking over your shoulder, being a little bit worried, being a little bit paranoid, um, afraid of going through something again or experiencing a rough time again, right? But I feel like this is like putting, I feel like this nine of wands and the ten of cups is putting putting your fears to rest okay in whatever situation i feel like if you're single and somebody's offering you love or gonna offer you love okay they want to put your fears to rest if it's a new job or an education that you're pursuing a career and you're you know having to go into study and learning learning new things maybe relocate to a different place a different establishment or something like that Again, the idea of your wishes being granted, following your heart, choosing the path that is aligned with you being true to yourself, okay, is going to help you put your fears to rest, okay? It's going to help solidify you, create a stable environment emotionally for you, and put these fears of the Nine of Wands to rest once and for all, 
okay? Again, moving into a calmer, sweeter, more peaceful situation all around, okay? Making progress. You're going to make progress. Okay, I feel like this Queen of Swords energy reminds me of the Nine of Wands because, you know, they've both been through things, okay, in the past. Um, but I feel like you conquering your fears and just trusting that you're moving in the right direction, okay? So I love this. I feel like there's some things that you've healed and it's helping you take the steps towards, you know, your happiness with the Ten of Cups. You're putting a lot of those old fears to rest. You're moving to a peaceful, more uh, aligned situation for you. Your, your wish fulfillment is being presented to you some way, somehow, okay, with that Nine of Cups. And I, I just want to say you deserve it, okay? So let's uh, let's get one of these Making Magic Oracles, okay? Mystic Star. Harmony in the home and great friendships. Yes, we see that here with the Ten of Cups, right? Like a, a lot of your old previous fears, they're being put to rest in some way with this situation. Okay, you're establishing yourself. You're reaffirming yourself and the direction that you want to go in. I feel like you just feel very much at ease, okay? With this card and the Ten of Cups. Everything just feels really good. All right, so let's grab a, a Starseed Oracle for more messages. Yeah, it says harmony in the home and great friendships, well, relationships too, right? You're, you're moving into a more harmonious situation here with the Six of Swords. Inner worlds. It says... Your external world is a reflection of your inner world. Absolutely. So when you're at peace with yourself or in your situation, um, beautiful things start to reflect in your everyday life, okay? Because of that flow or alignment that you're in, that's what I'm getting from that. So you're going to quickly see how your your outer world starts to reflect everything you've already been feeling or wanting for yourself on the inside okay that these cards are freaking gorgeous like i wow <laughs> nine of cups and the ten of cups you see the progression there beautiful all right so let's get a final oracle card for you this is a goddess oracle lots of success i'm feeling in the home life just in the direction that you're going in, okay? Wishes being granted and fulfilled or presented to you in a way that, you know, you can feel secure, all right? That's what I'm getting. Wow, unconditional love, Mary Magdalene. It says, love yourself, others, and every situation, no matter what the outward appearances may be. Again, I was getting the vibe of healing, moving on, moving forward into something more secure, emotionally happy, um, feeling at ease, putting your fears to rest, okay, definitely can be in love and relationships. I feel like forgiveness, healing, reconciliation for some of you possibly, or new love coming in to present this stabil emotional stability and love to you, okay? So I really do love this. I think things are just, um, I, I don't know why I heard full circle, okay? So you have the lovers, you have the unconditional love card, you have the ten of cups. Dang, this is just great. Um, things coming just full circle, it feels like, okay? So I'm going to leave you here. Um, Aries, I hope that this has connected for you. If it has, please do leave me a comment in the comment section down below. Like, share, subscribe. Click the bell for notifications to support this channel. If you want a personal reading, all my information is in the description box down below as well as a small clip at the end of the video. Um, feel free to check me out on Instagram and on Twitter as well. So sending much love to everybody. Keep shining and I'll see you soon.